Well, good morning. Welcome to the LBJ Grasslands outside of Decatur, Texas. Normally I film these segments at night and we're doing a flashlight or headlamp review. And if you can hear the wind noise right now, you know what the subject of today's review is going to be. I've had ongoing problems with wind noise, even using a lapel mic with uh, a traditional foam windscreen. So I recently upgraded my uh, mic to the Shure MV88 and a third party windscreen. Now, of course, you're hearing wind noise and you're wondering, well, what, what is that all about? I'm filming this first segment uh, using just the microphone that comes with the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And that way you can get a idea of kind of what the baseline wind is. It's only going to pick up during the day, so it will get worse as the day progresses. Now I have the unit over here. This is what I'll be using for uh, subsequent segments that I film, and so you can compare the noise that you hear uh, right now through the native microphone to what we get out of the MV88. I have the foam windscreen and this uh, third party windscreen attached and I'll give you the uh, relevant link to that at the end of the video. In the meantime, I'm going to finish getting geared up. Probably do a two or two and a half hour circuit out here. Like I said, the wind is only going to get worse throughout the uh, remainder of the morning. And this will give me an opportunity to film with the wind hitting me at a variety of angles. And we'll see what this uh, windscreen is really capable of. Well, we're on the top of a rise here with just enough wind to be really, really annoying. This is something that I would normally expect to have a lot of wind noise, the type that I would have difficulty uh, getting rid of even in post. And I have the MV88 attached now with the dual windscreen and we'll see how this comes out. Here's another segment where the uh, wind is blowing really bad. It's coming right into my face. Uh, forecast is for about a consistent 15 miles an hour. I think it's blowing pretty close to that right now. We should have gust above 20. So this should be a pretty good test. Like I said, the, the wind is definitely uh, hitting me hard in the face right now. So uh, we'll see how it comes out when I get the video into post. Well, here we are in a more wide open area. Again, the wind's uh, blowing more than enough to be annoying. In fact, we had just a few gusts right there. Let me pan around. Now you can hear what the wind noise or lack thereof is like at uh, a variety of angles. This is very thick brush we're looking at, so to see it move like that, you've got to have a reasonable amount of wind. All right, coming almost around to a full 360. There's another slight gust. Now it's back to the sustain that it's been at pretty much since I started. Yeah, it's, it's blowing at a very consistent pace. So here we are at the Valley View Campground. This is about the highest elevation of my exercise this morning. Uh, wind is still blowing at about the same clip. Pan around some. And it's even making that little sign sway back and forth in the wind. Uh, that, that takes more than just a light breeze. All right, well that's uh, Valley View. I'm going to continue my loop onward and I'll keep recording segments. Yeah, there's a good gust right there.
fact, that's probably the steepest gust right there that I felt so far this morning. That uh, lets me know that the wind is picking up as forecast. So I think as the sun continues to come out, we'll get better and better uh, tests. Now, of course, I'm running the uh, Sure app, and I have uh, wind reduction turned on. I want to make sure that I mention that. Hope it's showing up, but that's a turkey vulture out there. He's just hovering in the wind. The wind is blowing pretty much at a 45 degree angle from my left to my right behind me. Yep, there he goes. Yeah, see, he's just kind of holding up into the wind. Yeah, there's a really good gust right there blowing almost directly uh, left to right across the microphone. Okay, I wanted to record this segment. The wind is kind of really whipping as it uh, come through, comes through these trees. You can see the way the uh, trees are moving there. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting really good gust here, so this will be a very good test. Yeah, there's another burst. And it's moving those pines really well, so you can see how it's uh, picked up as we move on. Well, the wind is really blowing now. I've made it all the way to the uh, Dolly Gates. Valley View Campground is back in that direction. And I'm going to pan around. The wind is blowing straight in my face right now. You can see that it has uh, definitely picked up. But let me pan around so it's blowing directly from behind. And there are the Dolly Gates. We're going to head off in this direction and go all the way around Eureka Lake and then come back. But uh, this one is probably the best test so far, the way the wind is blowing. So as I'm walking here, we're at about the furthest point northwest, which is right about in here. This is about as far northwest as you can get of the grasslands and remain on public property. You can certainly go further south and west, but not further north and west. And here we are out by Eureka Lake. As I come out from around these trees, the wind is picking up a bit. There we go. And you can see how the trees are moving there to give you an idea of how it's blowing. Yeah, in fact, it's really gusting right now. In fact, it's gusting pretty consistently. I'd say we're up to at least uh, 15. And there it goes. That feels like closer to 20. So uh, that will give you an idea of what the conditions are like. Well, I'm at the top of a rise and the uh, wind is blowing at a pretty steady clip. I'd say from this angle, it's hitting me right from front right to left at about a 20 degree angle as I pan around. Now it's just about hitting me in the face. Just for comparison, I walked about 50 to 100 yards down the trail, and I'm filming this segment without the MV88. This is the iPhone native microphone, and I've literally got my mouth almost right next to the microphone. So this will give you uh, yet another comparison of the MV88 with the windscreens and noise reduction on the app versus the iPhone native microphone. And it's gusting about the same as it was in my last segment. Well, we have a stampede of cattle coming in this direction. Uh, a lot of cattle will graze out here in these various lots. They're kind of working over their way towards me. They must think that I'm the uh, person with all their food or something. 
But uh, this is also a good wind test because the wind's blowing at a steady clip and it's coming right in my face. And this is indicative of the type of situation that would normally drive me fits when I'm trying to record product reviews. Okay, they've turned around. I guess they're not interested in me. Come to think of it, I'm not interested in me either, so I'm going to move on. Just made it through the Tadra gates and made the turn back into the final stretch towards the truck. The wind is blowing, you can see, at a very brisk pace. I'm pretty sure it's well over 15 by now. And so this is uh, yet another good test run. Kind of a wide open area out here. And um, as it's coming around these trees, it's really picking up and just blowing hard right at me. Well, here we are over two and a half hours later. You can see the truck. The wind has died down just a bit. It's not uh, blowing quite as strong as it was, but you can look at the trees there and see it's still blowing through at a pretty good clip. Let me uh, move forward here. Yeah, now we're getting some gusts. It's picked up. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's what I've been feeling for the last uh, couple of hours. So uh, I'll, I'll find out, of course, when I get all of this footage into post, but uh, we'll see just how good the uh, microphone, its app, and the dual windscreens actually did. Thanks a lot. I appreciate your sticking through the evaluation.